car from now on here. In today's video, we are taking a look at five supercars. Oh wait, did I forget to mention cheap? What I meant to say was, in today's video, we are taking a look at five cheap supercars that you can buy that will make you look rich. Now, not to say that that's such a bad thing. Who am I to judge? And some of the cars on this list are just damn right cool. But it is what it is. And so before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. Number one is the supercar by Factor Aurelio. Now, although this is the cheapest supercar on today's list, it is definitely not the least coolest. In fact, probably the most interesting and coolest on this list as it looks like something that would compete with Ferraris, McLarens, and Lamborghinis. However, this supercar factor Aurelio will only cost you 1.6 million Filipino pesos. That's equivalent to about 35,000 USD. And yes, you heard that right, because the Factor Aurelio automobile is produced in the Philippines. And this small car manufacturer is proud to produce 80% of its own car parts by their own company. Now, although this car looks like a supercar that would compete with all the other supercars on the market, it really is all about the looks. As the engine is of Honda, the Honda BISA VTEC found in the Civic SI. And during the early infant stages of production, it was said in 2016, you could also purchase a Factor Aurelio with a Mitsubishi turbocharged 2 liter. But that was six years ago. And rumor has it Factor Aurelio is currently working on a second car. And who knows, maybe by the time they release their second car, they may end up producing their own motors considering they are already producing 80% of their own car parts in their own company in the Philippines. But that's a different video. But so this is why you are only paying $35,000 for this car. And definitely the reason why the Factor Aurelio earns the first spot on this list for cheap cars that will make you look rich. Hey, I think it's a pretty damn cool car. Number two is the 2005 Bentley Continental GT. And I'm sure at some point in time, we all heard something about a Bentley in some hit song on the radio. And that's because the Bentley name just screams money. And lucky for us who want to buy one to look rich without buying a new one and breaking the bank, that means depreciated money. Brand new if you're buying a 2023 Bentley Continental GT or if in fact you were buying a brand new one in 2005, you were paying well above $300,000 for this car. But check this out. I was able to find one on AutoTrader for only $48,000. And here's the thing. From 2005 to where we are today, not a lot has changed in the shape of the body. And I'm pretty sure if you're cruising one down the street or you've got it parked in front of your favorite restaurant, not a lot of people are going to question what year your Bentley is. You're driving a Bentley and you're driving a 6 liter V12 with 552 horsepower. And to get one for $48,000 is the reason why I got this car on the number two spot for cheap supercars that will make you look rich. Number three is the 2013 Maserati Gran Turismo Sport. Now, here's the thing. Depending on where you live in the world, Maybe if you live in California where all the celebrities live, it's a common thing to see a Maserati cruising down the street. But where I'm from up here in Canada, it's not often you see Maseratis driving down the street. And if in fact you want to get a glimpse of this supercar, probably the best chance to take a look at one is if you head down to the supercar dealership where you find all the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis. Because here's the thing, you don't just find these cars or buy these cars brand new at the same dealerships where you find the Ferraris for no reason. 
It's actually got a Ferrari engine in it. A 4.7 liter V8 with 454 horsepower. These cars sound badass. And a price tag for a brand new one, or if in fact you were buying this 2013 model back in 2013, you would be paying around $300,000 for this car. But check this out guys, because I was surfing the web on Craigslist and I found a 2013 Gran Turismo Sport for only $52,000. And on top of that, it's only got 53,000 kilometers. And if in fact you were cruising down the neighborhood in this Maserati, I don't think a lot of people would question whether you're driving a brand new car or you're driving a 10 year old car. A Maserati is a Maserati. And that's why I got this car on the number three spot on cheap cars that will make you look rich. Four is the 2005 Ashton Martin DB9. Now this British bad boy is just cool. Often featured in a lot of James Bond movies, this car is famous. And everybody knows or everybody thinks if you're driving an Ashton Martin, you've got money and you must be super rich. The price tag for a brand new Ashton Martin DB9 in 2022 is up above $200,000. But not just because it's an Ashton Martin. You're getting a 5.9 liter V12 engine with 450 horsepower. Well, check this out, guys, because I was on Craigslist and I was able to find a 2005 Ashton Martin DB9 for only $55,000. And get this, this specific model right here only has 43,000 kilometers. I don't know what it is about supercars. They depreciate in value more than any other cars on the road, but oftentimes their owners barely ever let the things out of the garage. 43,000 kilometers is a baby. And to get one of these for $55,000, sure it's an 18 year old car. But the thing is from 2005 to where we are today here in the year 2022, not a lot has changed in the body shape of the DB9. If you were cruising down the street or had this parked downtown in the posh shopping districts, I don't think a lot of people would question what year your Ashton Martin DB9 is. You're driving an Ashton Martin and that's that. And not a lot of people are going to be wise to know that you only paid $55,000 for this car. And that's why I've got the 2005 Ashton Martin DB9 on the number four spot on this list for cheap cars that will make you look rich. <laughs> Number five. Now the last car I got on this list is the 2008 Audi R8. And no, unfortunately, I'm not talking about the V10 model, but rather talking about the 4.2 liter V8. Now sure, it's not the V10 model, but it's still an R8 pushing 420 horsepower. And if in fact you are cruising down the street in an Audi R8, you are driving an Ironman car. You are driving a superhero car because this was the car that was featured in the first Iron Man movie. And when this car came out in 2008, this was everybody's dream car. Well, check this out, guys, because I was on Auto Trader and I actually found multiple R8s listed. But I was able to find this specific one with only 73,000 kilometers for $65,000. And that's a really great buy because out of all the cars on this list, this Audi R8 hasn't been depreciating in value as much as the other cars on this list. But to get this 2008 model for $65,000, again, like most of the other cars on this list, the body hasn't changed a lot over the past years from 2008 to where we are today. And 73,000 kilometers is still a showroom baby for an Audi R8. And to be driving down the street in Tony Stark's Iron Man R8 is the reason why I've got the Audi R8 on this list for top five cheap supercars that will make you look rich.
lanes I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of